everyone. Welcome to the green room. This is My Green Pets. I am William Green and today is our first update of the green room after well I have a confession to make. I have not been present the past six days. I had a plant sitter and there are some things that we're going to have to look at today so prepare thyselves. So I found out that the day that I left the lights did not switch on automatically and so that was not remedied, and remedied until 36 hours later so the, the, the plants uh, had a 36 hour stretch in complete darkness. And unfortunately that's caused two of the five buds on my uh, Brassocotent Little Mermaid to shrivel up. Another thing that I noticed when I came in was that the plants were crispity crunchity. They're medium. The sphagnum moss that many of them are planted in completely and utterly dried out. Oops. Catacetum wine delight has, has extended its spike out a little bit, but it looks like I've lost a bud and I don't know if I'm going to lose any more. It's kind of a toss up. These two seem to be okay, even though they really were very crispy when I came in this afternoon. I gave them a good watering and I haven't noticed that any of the spikes look damaged. In fact, they do look like they have grown some, so that's a good sign. Lovely Elizabeth has also suffered either from the extended darkness or the lack of moisture. You can see one spike has grown pretty normally, growing out there looking good. But then the other spike that was behind it has made some kind of a U-turn. And so I'm not quite sure how nice the flower is going to be all bent around backwards over itself. So that's a little bit annoying, but uh, not the end of the world. This little Schilleriana uh, has a confirmed spike sticking out. And there it is. See it there? I don't care if I only get one flower. I'm going to be pretty excited about it. This is a rescue fowl. Um, someone brought me this and it was featured in one of my videos. I repotted it, cut off all the roots, did all that good stuff. And it's got a spike coming up too. I think you can see it sticking out between those leaves there. Alright, well that's it for this week's update. I just wanted to kind of show you what the plants looked like after I came back. More or less okay, but there were some some little issues. And unfortunately the plants, a lot of them are in that kind of uh, sensitive flowering stage where just a little change in conditions can result in bud drop or what have you, incomplete blooming, whatever you want to call it. But that's it. Um, next week, I'm going to show you where I was this past week. And it has something to do with uh, conservatories, and it has something to do with Golden Gate Park, and it has something to do with flowers. So if you can put those things together, you might be able to figure out where I'm going to be. So I look forward to sharing that with you. I'm William Green. This is my green pets in the green room, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.